Hi everyone, it's Hetty, and I know it's been a very long time, but with the world and the situation that it is right now, uh, it took up, I had to muster up the incentive to do a couple of videos. And what I'm going to be making for you today is a seafood salad, which is usually made around Christmas, Christmas Eve. But I figured, hey, it's a nice light lunch, dinner, whatever, for the summertime. And I love it. My family loves it, although my, grand my sons don't love it. But it's a delicious treat and a nice salad. So what I'm going to start with, I have all my ingredients here. I have some lemons, the juice of four lemons. What I'm, I'm making a portion today that's for like two people, two servings. When I make it on Christmas, I make it a humongous one for about 20, 25. But I'm just going to scale it down for the time being because the only ones eating it today are me and my daughter-in-law. Anyway, there's some, uh, I got four lemons squeezed and, with, and pitted. I have my olive oil fresh parsley. I have lemon rind with three garlic cloves, which I'm going to put in the water to uh, boil the uh, seafood. Regular garlic cloves and celery, which is basically what you need. This is the squid, or as we call it in Italian, calamari. Now, I like, there's a little head on here. I take the little head off and throw it out. And I just, these are the tentacles. I love the tentacles. So you just have to take that little, this where the eyes are and stuff. I don't like that. So that's it. And then it, I like small galama. They're more tender. And so you got to make sure there's a little plastic ribbing in here. Make sure it's out. And then just slice it like this. And again, when it's done, Put it in the water and this will take three minutes. Three minutes to cook, that's it. I got a little hit there from the lemon. And the big ones I find when you get the really big galamad, they're so tough. I don't like tough, these are very, very tender. So I brought some water to a boil, I'm gonna salt it. You always salt your water after it boils. You don't salt it when it's cold. And into the water, I'm going to put the rind of a, of a lemon, three pieces, and three garlic cloves. Now, I'm going to boil all the seafood in here. I'm going to start with two lobster tails. Now, you could put whatever you want into this seafood salad. Some people put mussels. I'll have the recipe on the bottom. Some people put scallops. Uh, they put uh, octopus, a lot of people like octopus, they put in bacala, which is uh, a tradition in the Italian family at Christmas Eve, but nobody likes bacala but me. I never liked it when I was a kid, but when you grow older, your tastes change. So the water is boiling. What I'm going to start with is two lobster tails. I crack the back open so that it cooks. Uh, a little quicker and get it quite all the way. Okay. Now you, I, I would cook this about three to five minutes because it depends on the size of the lobster tail too. So now it's nice and open. This one's nice and open. And we're gonna put it in the water and we're gonna cook it for about three to five minutes. I'm gonna do that with the lobster tail I'm going to take out the lobster tail, use the same water, put in the shrimp, take out the shrimp, use the same water, put my uh, galamar in there, strain them, and then my scongeal. My scongeal, I don't put in the water, because usually when you buy scongeal, you buy it from the fish market or the fish department, and it's cooked, it's already cooked. And all you have to do is slice it. They remove it from the shell and they cook it or prime it. I don't know what they do. Uh, all you have to do is slice it. And I like mine sliced very, very thin. I'll show you in a little while. So that's cooking, if you could take a look there. And in about another minute or two, I'm gonna take it out 
and put it in a, a bowl and let it cool with the rest of the fish. Okay, so it's been about three or four minutes. I'm taking the lobster tails out. If you want to check it to see if it's done. If it's not, you just put it back a little, but these, they don't take long. Now what you're gonna do, keep the water, you know what, and keep it like medium so it has a rolling boil. And you're gonna put, I'm gonna put the shrimp in. And you do this with each of the seafoods. If you, uh, you move the put, closer. yeah, if you want, if you use <laughs> scallops, you, you could do the same thing with the scallops. And also if you want, you can add a little white wine to the, to the water, to the broth. I don't have any white wine. It's not so easy to get to the store these days. So I'm gonna cook the shrimp another, like I said, another two, three minutes. After that, I'm gonna cook the galamad, and then the scongeal is in the refrigerator. It's already sliced, let me show you. It's clean and it's sliced thin. I like it thin, more tender. Okay, so the shrimp have been boiling. Well, actually not boiling, but they're almost ready. You could see, you could tell. It's very easy to tell when shrimp are done. They, are, they get all pink. If you see any like clearish stuff, then it's not done. But uh, it's very easy to overcook shrimp. Uh, overcooked shrimp are very tough, and you don't want tough, and you don't want dry. So these look just about right. I'm gonna take these out cool them off, and then uh, I'll show you the galamada next. I'm just going to put the galamada in. Got the garlic is in there, the lemon's still in there. Now here's, here's the galamada. I'm going to put it in. And I wanted to show you, this is what I was talking about that's inside the galamada that you got to make sure you take out. It's a little plastic spine or something. Anyway, I'm going to put this in next and cook it three minutes and it'll be ready. Okay, so I'm back. The uh, seafood has been in the refrigerator chilling. Oh, by the way, this is our new company called The Wanted Tees. Of course, this isn't a tea, but we have custom-made t-shirts, aprons, cups, glasses. So. If you're interested, thewantedtees.com. And let's continue after I take my sip. And I take mine. All right, so we have in here the cut up shrimp, cut up lobster, scongeal, and galamad. I didn't show you how to clean the scongeal because in these trying times, it was very difficult for me to get the scongeal from the fish market so I had to get the ones that were already cut but this is what they look like and this is I like them nice and thin there's plenty of videos that I've seen on uh, YouTube that will show you how to clean them you just have to be a little careful take all the black off slice it up it's usually cooked when you get it from the fish market so just a word okay so I have Galmad, lobster, scongeal, and shrimp cut up. You can add scallops if you like. You can add octopus. You can add bacala, but you have to do the the cooking like I showed you with the with the uh, lemon and the garlic. All right. So now I have all my accoutrements here. I've got three stalks of celery cut up. You could use less if you don't want. I've got four cloves of garlic chopped finely. A good handful of Italian flat leaf parsley. Big handful. <laughs> parsley, basil, I don't know, if, I don't think I could cook without parsley and basil. So what I'm gonna do here is put in a little salt. That was parsley. About a teaspoon. What? That was parsley. <laughs> yes. Was parsley and basil. I don't think I could cook without it. Uh, yes, but there's no basil in that. No, there's no basil in here. It's just parsley. This is olive oil. 
You could use about a quarter to half a cup. And I've squeezed four lemons. Delicioso. Mix it up. You could put it back in the refrigerator if you want, but it's already chilled. But I'm going to put it back in the bowl and I'm going to chill it a little bit more. Now I'm going to take a taste. You can eat this. I like to have this with the Italian biscuits. You could have it with the pepper biscuits. The hard pepper biscuits that you get in the in the bakery or you could have it with Italian bread this could be an appetizer you have it as an appetizer but however you have it it's delicious I'm gonna get a little fork here and I'm gonna taste it this is a little scungy a little shrimp delicious I love it this is one of my favorites Yes, I is. make it every Christmas Eve. I can never get enough. I make a lot, so I have leftover. And I have it for the next three or four days. So, I hope you enjoy it. Give it a try. I'm going to put it in this bowl here so we can take some lovely photos of it for the website. And I hope you make it. Let me know how it turns out. Bon appetit.